I'm in AP 2D Studio. I'm taking AP Studio Art 2D and I've taken Graphic Design. I take AP Studio Art 2D. I made this for uh, Graphic Design 1. This is for my Advanced Studio class. I've taken Animation 1 and uh, 2D 2, 3D 1 and Graphic Design. This is for AP 2D Studio Art. And this is for AP Studio. This is a piece that I'm currently working on. It's a self-portrait. Um, it doesn't really look like me, that's because it was from when I was a lot younger. And um, it's, I wanted it to be about freedom of expression and um, sort of like how during childhood uh, oftentimes kids are unfiltered with the way they express themselves. This is one of the art pieces I did um, earlier this year and it's kind of like about the idea of like existentialism and um, the persistence of time and kind of having to live through that time and the kind of like the chaotic emotions you get from it. So this piece is about reflections and this photo was actually taken in the school. This would be the cafeteria and then that's like out there in the courtyard. And uh, I, I think that the piece is really interesting because it takes like a place that looks very cold generally, like our school building and it's, it warms, it uses warmer colors like browns and yellows, but and then even the parts that are green and blue are still like friendly and welcoming and I really like it. Uh, so I chose to paint my fish, my pet fish, and um, so the right side of the painting is the reflections of the fish while the left side is the real fish and um, I didn't have a deeper meaning for painting fish at the beginning of this assignment but I guess I but I guess um, it's kind of because I grew up with fish, like my dad has raised fish all throughout my life for as long as I can remember. And um, they're kind of important in my household. They've just always been there and like something I could rely on, I guess. And in Chinese culture, they're a big symbol for prosperity and wealth, so yeah. This one is um, obviously a self-portrait. Um, for a um, abstraction uh, project, um, and uh, for me, uh, this uh, really stuck out to me um, uh, as an uh, avenue that I wanted to uh, go down because um, it I felt like it kind of uh, reflected how um, how I kind of um, like in in the illustrator process I kind of tried to break down things into simpler shapes. Um, so in this one, obviously my face is more um, like uh, angular and uh, try to uh, make it out of triangles. Um, in this piece right here, it's um, kind of uh, focusing on themes of, of moms projecting onto their daughters and living vicariously through their children. Um, the piece I showed you is uh, for 3D1, so my first 3D project was a baseball being basically hit through a window and destroying the room it was hit into. And I kind of had the idea of a baseball breaking a window, and after I figured that out, I had a bounce I had to make gravity or figure out how it would look. Um, and I had to figure out how to make glass shatter, which was not fun. Um, it was really hard. But the, it, like as soon as I thought of what I wanted to do, I just went straight into it, and it was definitely hard finding the right images to use as my textures and being able to make things move the way I want to. Because if you don't, it can be um, hard to make things move naturally. Um, this was actually the first piece in my concentration, so it's kind of the beginning of everything. Um, but the girl is kind of celebrating with the candle, like a birthday candle, in the cupcake. But um, moths, which usually fly toward flames, are flying away from the flame. So it goes to show how like, her happiness is kind of messing in like, um, perverting nature. So for AP, we have to um, work on a sustained investigation in which we um, decide on a theme and we, we explore that theme through through various pieces and we're expected to generate a new one each week. And so every week we're working on a new piece and with that um, we have to write 
a proposal and then later a reflection on the piece and every single week we do a critique on everyone's um, pieces that are taking the class and so yeah. So I think it really depends. At the beginning you learn a lot so it's probably a week of just learning how to make things, textures, tools, and then you get basically a month of working on your project and just working. So um, my concentration has changed uh, like four times probably because I just couldn't decide on what to do and there wasn't anything, I couldn't find something that I was like super interested in long enough to make pieces for like months on end. But um, I finally decided on make, doing my concentration on um, kind of like my connection to Chinese culture or um, my disconnection since I was born in America so there is a disconnect between you know my me myself and my family that lives in China and then the culture there so I wanted to explore that part of myself more yeah for my state investigation I decided to um, look into maternity and and motherhood and um, how um, and how one generation um, can have repercussions throughout throughout time. I think the hardest part was the grind of just trying to get the exact image or face that you want when you're trying to make something. It can be frustrating at times since the program can be slow on the computers we have, um, but at the end it's really satisfying to see what you've made. I guess it's just a sense of accomplishment in that it's something that I do well in, um, like whenever I finish whatever drawing or painting, it just like, you know, I guess I feel proud. So a lot of it is just playing with like contrast and color to try to like emphasize either the environment or the person in like a particular piece. I think it's a it's a really good class because the pressure isn't as much as the AP class, but you can still try a lot of things. So if you're in a junior year, you can try this class and then you can see the people around you who are in AP who are doing, you know, different things but still like on a similar track and it's really it's a it's a good environment to be in if you want to create art. I I took one art class here before taking this class. It was painting one. And um, I would say my piece of advice is to just not be afraid uh, with the artwork that you create and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Um, and even if you're not happy with a piece, that's okay because you learn something from it. Um, this year I've made a lot of pieces that I just have not been happy with, but I've learned something from that and then my next piece is oftentimes better from what I learned. So I would say definitely be prepared that like all of your pieces do have to have meaning and they can't just look nice. You can't just do something because it looks nice. Like that can be part of it, but there has to be like a cohesive meaning.